Greetings and salutations everybody, Lord X here coming at you once again for a brand new comic shop pickups video. That's right, it's time to dive into what comics I picked up this previous week. And sorry about this episode being late, but, you know, life happens. But anyways, we're here today. I've This should be a very short episode because I've only got a few comics here. Three to talk about. And it won't take very long, I assure you. Maybe I'll show you something else at the end, but I didn't really pick up any comic book based extra goodies. I'll say that much. But anyways, let's dive into these comics. And the first one I'll pull out of the bag is issue number six of Squirrel Girl, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And <laughs> the title here is Who Will Be the Newest Friends of Squirrel Girl? And it says, Pick two, answer inside. So is it going to be the female Thor, <laughs> also Thor, Invisible Woman, Chipmunk, Hunk, never heard of him, <laughs> Joe Quesada, <laughs> Howard the Duck, Speedball, Niles, there's Rocket Raccoon, you can't really see him though, Dazzler, Koi Boy, Double Dinosaur, Groot, uh, I can't pick out who that is, but last one there's Deadpool. So, there you go, Squirrel Girl. Haven't read this one yet, unfortunately, but I will talk a bit more about the other two. So, let's go on to those other two. The first here is issue number two of Battle World. Now, the first Battle World, I raved about quite a bit. I, I really enjoyed it. And issue number two, exactly, I feel the exact same way about it. There are two different stories in this issue of Battle World. The first one deals with Blade and an unlikely team up with Howard the Duck because Blade finds himself in New Quack City and the Dracula version of Howard the Duck basically. <laughs> uh, things just escalate and Howard and Blade team up to fight this Dracula Duck. So yeah. That, that was fun, and the second story revolves around a Colosseum type battle. Maybe something similar to Game of Thrones last night. Hmm? Um, but yeah, it's Arcade's Colosseum. If you don't know who Arcade is, he's an older school villain who used to bring heroes into what he called Murder World and had them fight. Uh, either against themselves or against creations of his. So he's running this Coliseum type thing, Taskmaster's involved. General Ross has been created into like this cyborg type built being. Basically it's War Machine. <laughs> that's what he's called in the book. So yeah, that's going on. Really good story. Uh, quite enjoyed it. So, I cannot recommend Battle World enough to you guys. I think it's a wonderful addition to the whole Secret Wars storyline that's going on right now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of times like Old Man Logan and Infinity Gauntlet and all the other books, but if you want to just stick to one side story aside from Secret Wars itself, do pick up Battle World. I, th I honestly believe it is well worth it. It's been a fun read, well worth the money. And the final, final comic for this week is issue number three of Secret Wars. And I got this variant edition cover, which looks like a Doc Ock superhero packaging type deal. I saw the other ones and eh, looked alright, but I decided to go with this one. Oddly enough, Doc Ock has nothing to do with this book. He's not in it at all. But, yeah, I think they could have replaced him with somebody else. I think they already did Spider-Man, so he would have been out of the question. But Doctor Strange would have worked extremely well for this one, because this issue started picking things up again quite a bit, and I will talk a little spoiler here. Um, at the end of issue number two, we saw that Thanos, the Reed Richards of World Earth, 1610, which is the Ultimate Universe, survived, along with a bunch of other villains. Uh, this book begins with 
Doctor Strange, who is the right-hand man of Doom in the series, is, uh, you know, he stood outside the ship and that Thanos and them came out of. The rest of the Thors go away. It's just Strange, this young Thor, and he's like, our young friend, you can come out now. And out from the ship comes Spider-Man, Miles Moranis. And he's just like, so confused at what's going on. <laughs> and then reveals to Doctor Strange that he remembers the world that came before. So, Strange being who he is, he is the Strange of the Marvel 616 universe. The actual guy, he remembers everything that came before. And he's shocked at things like, oh shit, well, yeah, come come with me. <laughs> we, we've got to go to my place. So they go there, and it's revealed that Strange has the other vessel. The one which contained Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Star-Lord, Reed Richards, um, I can't remember who else now, <laughs> forgive me. But yeah, they open that up, those guys are revealed, they you know, reveal that they remember things from long ago. Strange reveals that eight years have actually passed since the destruction of the previous multiverse. And reveals to our heroes that, you know, Doom is now the god. And uh, <laughs> the reactions from the heroes are just great. Miss, ah, sorry, Captain Marvel just stood there like, huh? Same with like everybody else. It, it's a really great scene. I think you should go and see. Uh, as the ship door opens, Star Lord's like, "Are we are we there yet?" <laughs> and Spider Man, well, him and Miles Moranis have a little moment together where Miles is like, "Hey," he's like, "Peter, is that you?" <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's really great. It was a great scene. It actually made me love this issue quite a bit. Um, yeah, Secret Wars has been really good so far, and I, I'm really enjoying this storyline because I, I never got into Fear Itself and um, Avengers vs. X-Men. I, I read that for quite a while, and I read Access for quite a while, but kind of like died off on me. I wasn't really into it as much, per se, but I'm really digging Secret Wars. This This is my kind of event. I am loving it. I think this is up there with Civil War for me as a great storyline so far. Uh, I'm quite excited to see where things go into the next issue because, yeah, Secret Wars has been fantastic, loving it, and I think you should check it out as well. And that, of course, is going to do it for the comic books that I picked up this week. Now, I said I didn't have anything to really show off. I never picked up any pop vinyls or mystery boxes, so I'll show you two little things that came after I've recorded my May pickups video, which should be going up tomorrow as of this video. So yeah, these two didn't arrive on time for that video, so I'll show them out here in advance, which is going to make tomorrow's video really weird. And of course, I'm talking about two Amiibos that I picked up from Amazon, uh, Pac-Man and Charizard. So there you go. Uh, really love the design on these two guys. Well worth the money, I believe. Charizard's just friggin' awesome. And Pac-Man, man, the de the detail here on Pac-Man is just cool. And Pac-Man has an amiibo. That's awesome, because Pac-Man is awesome. So guys, there you go. That's going to do it for this video. I thank you so very much for tuning in once again. I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. And I will catch you next time. Also, go watch Glitched Out and Static Screen. Do it.